Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been quite a while since the last time I posted, but I'm back. You'll see I renamed the channel to Quick Codes with Daniel. Uh, I'm going to try to put more of an emphasis on writing shorter programs that are still unique and provide hopefully useful information uh, to all of you. So if you're into that, hit subscribe and click the notification button to see when I drop new videos. I'm going to start with a series on SQL and writing SQL using BigQuery. So you'll see I'm in Google Cloud right now. I'm going to navigate into my uh, BigQuery environment. And what I'm going to do over the next few videos is use uh, some data that I have stored on my local uh, machine as a CSV file. And I'm going to load it into BigQuery and uh, create tables with it in BigQuery. And then we'll use the uh, SQL workspace here within, within BigQuery to... Uh, learn how to write some SQL uh, using BigQuery syntax. So I'm going to go into my core project. I'm going to click add here. And we're going to add a local file. I have a CSV file saved. So I'm going to navigate to that. I'm off screen here, but that's okay. To remember where I have this stored. Oh yes, here it is. Okay, and so this data is example sales data. Uh, it's an example of orders data from a uh, superstore. I found this online, it's open source. And uh, yeah, we're gonna come in here, we're gonna create a new data set for it. So this particular CSV file is only going to have, it's gonna be used to create a single table. And we're going to say, uh, we're just going to call this SQL Tutorial, that's our data space, our data set rather, sorry, create data set. So it's going to be in our SQL tutorial. This one is, uh, the CSV contains a bunch of orders from the superstore, right? So you can imagine it's like maybe an online retailer and each row is a, a specific order. And so we're just going to call the table orders. It's gonna be a native table. We're gonna have BigQuery auto detect the schema uh, and then in advanced options, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to, uh, the only thing I'm going to change here is I'm going to change this header rows to skip from zero to one because the CSV file includes in the first row, uh, headers. And so what this is going to do is it's going to tell BigQuery to skip that first row and to use that as, uh, headers. So that's going to create the column names in our new table. So we're going to hit create table. This should load the job and then perform. It should be pretty quick. The table's not too large. So there we go. Load job created. Working, working, working. All right. So now I'm going to refresh this page and our new data set should appear. So let's go back into our project here. And there we go, there's SQL tutorial. And there's our orders table. If we click on that, what this is going to do is it's going to show us a quick overview of the table that we just created. And you can see that we've got those field names, which were the, uh, that's the header row that we told it to skip. And then real quick to end this video, we're gonna go ahead and select query in a new tab. And this is gonna auto populate some basic uh, basic SQL. We're going to get more into this in the next video. And this is just going to be a select all statement from that orders table. And we're going to limit it. Uh, we don't need a thousand for this. We just could use a hundred here. And this is just going to select all of the columns. That's what select star means from the orders table. And then we're going to limit that to only sewing a hundred rows. We're doing this limit just to uh, avoid the length of time and processing that would be required to load the entire thing. So there you have it. You can see our data is successfully loaded and we now have it stored instead of it being a CSV on our local machine, we now have that stored uh, in the Google Cloud using BigQuery. So there you have it. That's gonna be it for this video. In the next video, we're gonna go through more SQL. So hope you join me. All right.